Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Hey man, hey, this legendary for me anyway because I'm a big fan, man, and man, I've been listening you. at you for a long time and didn't even realize. I didn't even going realize on. it. Why you always got to put that out there? Don't well, make me look man. bad. I mean, it, I remember driving down the road listening to that song. We were doing research on Renetta, and that song came up with because he's a big pimp, pimp oh, yeah, C I'm fan, a pimp like C fan. huge yeah, pimp C fan. Bad, yeah, that's and bad. that song it's came bad, on. Bad. And he was like, no, let's look up another song of his and see. And we matching the voices to try to you see if like it was Ron really Isley. you. I thought it was Ron Isley. <laughs> That's what I thought. he could not believe it. I thought it was Ron like Isley. I'm telling you what I thought. Everybody think it was Ron Isley. But now I'm going to tell, tell, tell you something that they don't realize it was a Ron Isley song. Ah. Really? That's and why you got world, me. Yeah, the world don't know. So... The song is called, it's on the Live It Up album. Uh huh. Okay. And the song is called Ain't I Been Good to You by okay. Ronald Osley. And what I did was just rewrote the words and sung it the way that I felt, you know, that I felt that like That you it, felt like it needed, it needed to, be. to be. You feel, and because uh, music talk to you. So right. if you just sit down and listen to the track, you can pretty much. You know, know pretty much what to say on the on the song if you listen real good. Man, I tell you, when I when I first heard it, this was in nineteen, I believe ninety five. I'm gonna say ninety five, ninety four. Whenever it came out, that riding dirty ninety six. Ninety six. I know it was somewhere. Right. I, I, look, cause I, you know, I, I ain't gonna tell y'all my age, but you know, I kind of remember when rap first started, nigga. So don't don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> When it first started out, like when it wasn't no, you know, it was just R&B and me. Mm -hmm. I was good and, with that, too. And when rap yeah. first started, it was a Jamaican who started it, right? No, nah, we don't want right? to go there. This is the part I don't like right there. You know, <laughs> this is what I get. They say that a, a Jamaican started rap. Uh -huh. And, 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 they, and oh my I researched God. it and they said, name? yeah. Yep. Well, I was mad about that, man. I can might be wrong, but I thought rap came out. Uh, Sugar Hill Gang? No, I, no. Think, I think rap started. And this young particular man was is real good. He go by the name of Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield. When, when he first did, uh, I'm your mama. I'm yeah, your yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, so, DJ Cool Herc. Look, he, yeah, he's Jamaican. Rap. DJ Cool Herc. But what you just said, so come on, Google, tell your story. When you Google, that, when you Google it, it said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's <laughs> Google the line. Google the line. Tell no, me about no. what you about to say about Curtis Mayfield. I mean, <laughs> Mayfield was the one to me. Yeah, I could be wrong, but Mayfield is the one to me that really got people to kind of jumping on rap because he kind of did singing rap. Okay, and, you know, actually, I did a song over with Mayfield. But see that? It's mm. like uh, then that's when I guess the Sugar Hill Gang and all, all these other ones start coming start up. coming up with you know rap music and then boom I think it just blowed up but you know the real hip hop artists is out there maybe I shouldn't say it like that was like Carolus One and yeah, all yeah, that yeah, that yeah. was real hip hop they was real the original you know the original stuff out there so I gotta give it to the New York people they was mm -hmm. they was on it yeah we on Boss Talk 101